Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is NVIDIA Grid on VMware Part 5 Install the Windows 10 Desktop. So we start in vCenter Server. And we're just going to have a quick check on the graphics settings. I'm going to make sure that both of these are set to shared direct for each GPU of the grid card. And I now have a virtual machine that I've already set up called Win10 Red K2. I'm going to set up four of these. I'm going to have a red, blue, green and yellow. But this is the red one I'm working on at the minute. You'll see it's got a grid GPU. And you'll see it's got the 240 profile. I'm then going to make sure that we have an ISO with a Windows 10 installation media in it. So other than this, it's just a standard uh, Windows 10 VM with the ISO installation attached. So we'll do a, a standard Windows install. I'll skip through the first three screens where we're just going through the um, pick your language, pick your installation location. So up to this point, it's just a standard Windows installation. So now we've um, booted back up again after installing Windows for the first time. Uh, we've still got the Windows 10 ISO in the CD-ROM drive, but we're now going to change that and we're now going to go to Guest Install VMware Tools. So this is going to replace the Windows 10 installation ISO with a VMware Tools installation disk. So we can double click on this drive, but usually we'll get a prompt from Windows to ask us what we want to do with this disk. So we're going to run the VMware Tools setup. And I would say when you run VMware Tools, it makes sense to always run with the complete installation. Complete means that whatever version of VMware hypervisor you're going to use with this whether that's um, an ESXi or whether that's a player or a workstation you have all the necessary uh, drivers in there for it to work on any of the different types of hypervisor that VMware offer. Now what you may see as we're doing this is that it's installing a driver so that's the graphics driver just been installed there you can tell because we automatically resized the, the screen resolution it's now going to prompt us to restart And as we come back up again, we're now in a much higher resolution because now it understands what graphics cards and what hardware we've got in this. I'm going to make a couple of changes to this because this is the one. I'm going to build four of these Windows 10 machines and I'm going to call them red, blue, green and yellow just so when I do a future demonstration we can tell which is which. So I'm going to make the background red. And then actually one of the things I need to do is click on my computer which isn't there. So I'm going to click on themes, desktop icon settings and I'm going to put the computer icon back on and take the recycle bin icon off. I've had a recycle bin icon for 25 years and I don't think I've ever clicked it once. The other thing I want to do is change the name of this virtual machine to indicate it's a Windows 10 machine with a K2 graphics card um, and this is the red version so I'll call it Win10 K2 red and I would normally change performance settings here I, I tend to forego all the transparency and fancy effects for performance but as this is about installing a new graphics card we'll leave those on and very important we're going to allow remote desktop connections to this computer very important reason for that is that because we're using a hardware graphics card and we're going to install the driver for the hardware graphics card 
we are going to lose the ability to connect to this through the VMware web client or the remote console client because that uses the VMware graphics card driver, not the physical one. So very important, must enable terminal services before we do any of this uh, stuff next. So that was part five, installing a Windows 10 desktop. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful.